When was the last time they saw me? When I had glasses? <sighs> yeah, it was. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing the couples Q&A. You guys were excited for this one, maybe because of this guy right here. If you guys are new to my channel and don't know who this guy is, he's my husband. We've been married for... One year, six months. There you go. <laughs> um, we're married for a year and six months. It's one year and ten months. Oh, it is. Damn, you were way off. And you said, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's just get straight into these questions. Okay, you guys asked me questions from Snapchat and Twitter, so I'm going to just go through those. One, how was it when you two met each other's families? When I first met her family... We were friends. We were friends. <laughs> what was it? I just came over. I met your mom. I met your brother. This was five, five six, years ago. Yeah. Five years ago. Her family was really welcoming of me. Her mom, especially. Yeah. I love her to death. She Everyone loved him from the beginning. Everyone told me like he's a good guy, Jasmine. Give him another chance. Um, which we still need to like film the like a whole love story because it's like complicated. But yeah, just to make it short, they just all loved him. They all wanted me to give him a second chance or a third no, they're chance. they're asking me. No, no. Oh. No, they're asking oh. both of us. <laughs> a couple's Q&A. <laughs> There's a question right there. Like, who's, I think, who's selfish? This guy is. So yeah, they wanted me to give him a second chance, but I never did. We just stayed as friends and... Yeah, I don't know, they just, they always loved him since the beginning, but, I mean, now they're happy because I already, I married him, so. <laughs> it's because they know once you go Asian, that stuff is amazing. Oh, how was it meeting your side of the family? When was the first time? You met. Oh, in the you, apartment. Yeah, in the apartment, also five years ago. Yeah, when we were friends. Um, when my little sister, Bella, who is now six, six she was a was baby. A baby. I think she was seven months old. Dang, that's yeah. crazy. Meeting his side of the family was nerve-wracking, but hold on, I was the first girl to ever like meet his side of the family and just walk in the house. Um, so that was nerve-wracking just to know I was the first girl they ever like met. Right? Mm -hmm. I don't know, but before I didn't have anxiety, so I wasn't that nervous. Like I wasn't like so anxious about it. So I was just really? like going, I was going on with it, like whatever, but um, I don't know, they're, they're very nice even to this day. I, I feel like all Filipinos are nice. I don't know, just like with what he said with my family, they were very welcoming and just like making sure they're like taking good care of me. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, they gave us our space, you know, to talk. And now we have one big happy family. Yeah. We all get along. Yeah. Even with his family and my family together, they all know each other now and... Yeah. Are you ever planning to have any kids? So, I'm guessing this, she's a new subscriber, but we yes. were trying for six months. For six months, yes. Um, yeah. Including two months, me taking birth control pills to regulate my cycles because I had irregular periods. I've been, I feel like I've been explaining this, like millions of times yeah. but i know there's new subscribers so i don't mind answering but after i feel like we just decided <coughs> to like stop trying and just let it happen when it does and not focus too much on it because i feel like it was very like i feel like it takes you know the fun out of it yeah because you're trying so the hard the whole you like experience the journey just to have a get baby pregnant. so bad like you take the fun out of it um, there's no purpose to it anymore, I think. Yeah. And you forget how much you love that person because you're focused on just having a baby with them. Basically, yeah. for me. I mean, the question was, are we planning to have kids? And the answer oh, yeah. is yes. Yeah, of course. I mean... In the near future, yes. We're not trying like we were before because it really took a whole, like, yeah, we were, on me. We were, well, she was obsessive. She was obsessed with it 
and I felt like we were we were obsessively trying, but now we're just letting it happen. You know, we're still flowing. We're still, flowing. you know, in that area. We're not. We're not trying, preventing trying. it. Yeah, we're not from preventing happening. it. So whenever it happens, it happens. Um, but yeah, we are planning on having kids hopefully soon. But I mean, like we said, we're just not really trying. Trying. Okay. Who has a bigger appetite? Really? You guys have to ask that question. It's her. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. He can eat for days. <clears throat> like. What are you talking about? No. You can't see it all this. He could eat a lot, you guys. It's, <sighs> it's crazy. I'm just like, where does it all go? But yeah, this guy does. You want another not answer to that question? Okay. Here, let okay, me read describe. one question. Okay, this one right here. Describe one another with just one word. Yeah, I know you'll say one word isn't describe isn't describable, but one I said. <laughs> I'll just put hashtag JJ Couples Q and A. Okay. Describe one another with just one word. Damn, it's hard. That's hard. Cause there's so many things, but I can't put it all in one. I'm retarded. No, he's crazy. I'll say crazy. I'll say crazy. Because like, there's so much that... No, I'll say crazy. Okay, well, I would say you're caring. Oh. You care a lot about a lot of things. Yeah. Which I have a problem with that, too. Because I care what people think a little too much when I shouldn't. But... But on the loving side, I am yeah. very caring. Yeah. Who's a better kisser? This girl. <laughs> well, I am her first kiss, so she you can't really first say. Kiss. She taught me how to make out. Okay, okay, choice. cut. Okay, no more. <laughs> okay, how did you meet and who planned the early marriage? Also, how did you know he was the one, Jasmine? Okay. Met on Twitter. <laughs> where you're asking this question from. Okay. So, yeah. We both planned the marriage. We talked about it before I left for training and we talked about it, was it just a when I came back yeah so it was just all very quick and it all happened fast but we didn't want it like that but it happened it happened but we're gonna we're working things out now so yeah cuz getting married like getting married very quickly I mean he wasn't a stranger at all to me so I think it would be worse if it was I'm not saying if you like if any of you guys did get married to a person you didn't know for so long, that's fine. It's just for us, for our, our own experience. Um, I think it would be harder if we didn't really know each other that well and we just got married. Yeah. I don't know, we talked about it before, like he said, when he, before he went to training, but it just came up, like just a regular conversation. We didn't really take it serious. Um, but then after that, we just started like, we started dating and then he said that he didn't want to start, you know, that process yet until like two years later but it happened in less than a year so <laughs> but yeah it just happened I don't know it just... <laughs> you know I love you I my chapstick stuck to your hair I know how did I know he was the one okay well rewind to the beginning I didn't know at first <laughs> we dated like two times like five years ago but I didn't really feel it at the time. It didn't feel right. Like if it was just the wrong, it was wrong timing. And then stop. After a couple years, after me being in a like dysfunctional relationship, um, he came back into into my life, and it just felt right. Like something just told me, like okay, he's he came back for a reason. And then once he left for basic training, I started missing him like never before. I wanted him back into my life to see him every day and it just felt right and after we started dating and he proposed, it's, I don't know, it's just a feeling when, when you know, you know. Everyone says that. Okay. So this one's for Justin. What are your thoughts on people judging Jaz Jasmine because of her teeth? Um, they can all suck a <laughs> That's what I think. So if you're watching this and you think my wife has messed up teeth, Come see me. That's I love it. you. I mean, I know I have 
fucked up teeth, but braces could fix that. It doesn't change who I am. Yeah. So and your attitude, whoever you are, making fun of her teeth, you can't change that. I hope you have a good life. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't make me f like feel bad or in any like type of way. Um, he treats me the same. I worry about it sometimes. That's one of my insecurities, but because of how he treats me and he still sees me the same. I think she's beautiful. Then, I don't know, like I just forget about my insecurities and then, I don't know, he makes me feel good, so. Okay, what bad habit do you dislike of one another? Okay, you answer first. I have to think about this one. Okay, I'll answer then. Oh jeez, what We talked it? about this yesterday at Ikea, but I'm just going to tell you guys. Oh my god. Like, she always okay. thinks she's right. She never lets me be right. And it's not or, because I do it on purpose. Not that I do it on purpose. It's just... I'm, like he said in the beginning, I'm very independent. I know when I'm right. Like, I know, like, if you're asking me something, okay, I know this is it. I know that, you know, like... Yeah. But I know I need to, like, loosen up a bit and just let him take over. No, but the thing that I, like, like I really do not like is when it's, when it comes to simple things, which was yesterday, was we were adding up the prices for the table that we were going to get. Things that I was wrong. I was like, it's all going to well, add up to the same wait, thing. Wait, only because I counted wrong, okay? I counted wrong. I, that was my mistake. High five, but high I five. Know. There you go. But yeah, I do need to like let him take over sometimes and just... So I could be at peace, you know, sometimes too and just have him do everything because I know yeah. I'm always like, you know, on top of everything. One, a bad habit uh, that I dislike of you. Um, Oh, wait, what is one thing that I always get mad at you for? A lot. I can't think. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um, no, but there's other, it's something simple, but whenever he gets a drink out of the refrigerator, he pours, you don't even, I haven't even told you this. No, okay. you, but you have, have before, I? yeah, but I still don't listen because I don't care. I let it, I know, <laughs> you don't give a fuck. Drink. <laughs> no, it's because, okay, he pours himself a drink, and then we go eat dinner or whatever on the table, but he leaves that drink out. No, but what if I want more for later? Like the whole gallon. No, but sometimes you don't, and it, you just, it stays there. Even if you did, you don't put it away at all. Yeah, if I, I know that he'll put it away eventually, then I, I won't mind. No, but I do he put doesn't. It away. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, nah, most of the time I put it away. Because you put it away before I even get a chance to put it away. No. Oh, God. Okay, well, that's what he does. <laughs> <laughs> he leaves it out and he just does his own thing. And I don't know why. It's just. I just feel like the, the drink is going to get warm and it's not going to stay cool. And I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, I just don't like that. If there was one thing you could change about one another, what would it be? I don't know. I don't know if I would change anything about you. I mean, it wouldn't be you. <coughs> I mean, I know you're not perfect. I know I'm not perfect, but... Yeah, I don't think I would change anything. I just wanted to stop assuming shit. <laughs> Um, that's it, I mean... I just wanted to accept when I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, we can answer that one. <laughs> okay, so this is for Justin. What was the first thing that attracted you to Jasmine? Well, I actually saw Jasmine on Twitter. It was mostly her eyes. Like, when I saw her picture <laughs> under follow or not follow or skip. It's not Tinder, babe. You don't, you don't have to well, skip. Whatever, but when I saw her picture, it was her eyes that attracted me. Oh, and I remember the picture. Yeah, she yeah. thought I was black. Yeah, I thought he was black because your, your picture, you looked dark. Real dark. But... <coughs> <laughs> Alright, the question is, if one of your past ex came back in the picture, he gets mad or upset when you post pictures of showing off your body or anything, is that a way of trying to control without being in a relationship? 
Oh yeah, from a guy and girl's point of view. Um, I mean, I've never had an ex, but if that were to happen, I'd be like, who the fuck are you to tell, to tell me, me to some do. shit like that? You're not part of my life, so next. If it was for me, my ex came back in the picture and was trying to tell me what to do, or I would say, yeah, it was. It would be controlling, but then I'll be like, what the fuck? Like, where have you been for the past couple years? <laughs> And just coming out of nowhere, it's, I... I think I, people like that are stupid. Yeah. And but yeah, they're being controlling or obsessive. Huh? And people that entertain it are even more stupid. Yeah. All you can do is ignore it. Because if you give them that attention, well, you're giving them what they want. So yeah. just ignore them. I want to know how do, you, how do you guys keep that relationship going at a young age? Uh, I have trouble with my two-year relationship right now, but does it get better or worse as time goes by? Um, there's no secret to it. You just have to keep getting to know each other. It's hard. I think it's hard for everyone um, at a young age. Because um, nobody's perfect. Nobody has a perfect relationship. I don't know. I know when you're young, you make a lot of stupid mistakes, but you know that... The older that we're getting, we're both realizing that we're getting older. We're maturing we as the days go go by. We need to stop, you know, making all these mistakes and just try to be better for each other. And also, because she said, does it get better or worse as time goes by? That's up to you. Yeah. Um, Whatever you, you and your it, loved one. Yeah. Yeah, like, um, it's the effort that you put in. If you really want it to work, then you'll do your part as girlfriend or wife and then he'll do his part as boyfriend or husband but if only one person is trying to put in that effort then it's not going to work out that's just the truth eventually you'll get tired and that love will just fade away and it's just going to go downhill from there but yeah it's all about putting effort and that love just keep it keep it going and keep it alive because the moment it's going down then it's going to die eventually and you guys will just go different Path in life, so. Okay. What well, do you... <laughs> there you go. That's a good question, right there. What do you want to achieve this year? For me, individually, I want to get promoted to a sergeant. And he will do it. I know he will. For us, I just want us to keep getting better as a married couple. Fixing ourselves and trying to become. <coughs> <coughs> Um, just to become better people and also for me just to grow my YouTube channel and see where that takes both of us yeah. and I think that's it. We do have big plans. so We do, but not for this year. Yeah. Okay. Since you don't have any pets, what kind would you have? A well, lab. <laughs> Well, we're like debating from a Labrador, um, Huskies, Yorkies, um, what other one? Oh, an Australian Shepherd. I, I really want that dog, but it's hard. We're looking for puppies. If any of you know a breeder of any of these kind of dogs, yeah. you could get us a cheap dog. Please holla at your girl. Holla at your boy. Because <laughs> um, we are looking for a puppy, but I know it's going to be tough on both of us and let's say we do get a puppy and I end up pregnant damn <laughs> that's two yeah, kids two right kids. there and it's gonna be hard so we're kinda like 50-50 right now when like on when like to get a puppy and I don't know yeah okay how tall are you? you guys already asked me that on my previous Q&A but if you guys wanna know how tall he is 6'5 no he's not okay 5'9 <laughs> you're all upset <laughs> <laughs> He's 5'9", I'm 5'3". What would you name your first daughter and son? Wait! We don't want to say it just yet. Um, because... I don't want nobody <laughs> stealing my son or my daughter's name. No, it's not that. It's just I want... Like once... Um, we decided once we do get pregnant, we will vlog. Um, just because it'll be more interesting that way. And... Also, I want to do like pregnancy updates and like name reveals, gender reveals, um, do all that in my channel as well. Yeah. 
So I'm waiting on that, so I don't want to let you guys know the names, but we have decided um, for our daughter or son's name already. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay, have you not let your partner do something just because you feel jealous or angry? No? Not? She gets jealous, but... I do get jealous. I'm a very jealous person. But um, it's to the point where it's like healthy, you know? <laughs> yeah, like not I'm not on his ass like 24-7. Yeah. Like I trust him. It's just before in the beginning, I kind of still have trust issues because of my past relationships. Um, but it's not because of him. He hasn't done anything wrong. It's just because of my past relationships, like I said. And But I just get jealous whenever, like, if a girl, like, stares him down or talks to him, like, in a way that I know it's not respectful for him or for me. Or what other way can you say? It's never in a bad way, right? No, I don't, I never take it wrong because I know it's healthy, you know, I know she's just letting me know how she feels at the situation and it's not anything that I did. Because I so. love what I have and I, and I want nobody to steal this from me. And I know that won't happen, but it's just, you know, every girl gets jealous. I know every girl gets jealous. <laughs> at least a little bit, <laughs> sorry. I let her do what she wants. I mean, I don't get jealous much. No, he doesn't get jealous at all. I don't get angry I much. want him. I feel like every girl wants, you know, their guy to get jealous. At least a little bit. If I, I was saying, if a guy, like, crosses the line, then I feel like he'll jump in. You know, then yeah. he'll, he'll feel something. Like, but if it's something small or whatever, he, it's like, I mean, it's a good thing. But for me, I just want him to get jealous just a little bit. Okay. Mm. Shut up. <laughs> Hey, how is it like being with somebody? That's it? Huh? <laughs> oh, it's pretty good. How is it like being with somebody? And where do you see y'all in a, in a few years? How is it being with somebody? I mean... I mean, it's... I, I love it. It's... I mean, great. it has its ups and downs, but... I love it. You know, you have someone to lean on. When you're married to someone, I feel like... It makes life a bit easier. You have both to live this crazy life and not This your crazy wife. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you see y'all in a few years? Hopefully working with a makeup company. Hopefully we have a house and we yes. don't have a car. We want to buy a house, have a pet by then, have a baby by then. Have just all that. Grow our family and just be happy together. <laughs> if you were a food item, what would you be? Okay, what's your favorite song? 24 Karat Magic by Bruno Mars. <laughs> what's it feel like to wake up next to the love of your life? <sighs> it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Yeah. I mean, mommy of two, I know you are wanting to get pregnant sometime soon, but I am wondering why the rush? You are so young. You guys should enjoy yourselves alone a little longer, just telling you from my experience. You're right. You're right. You're very right. You realized that. that. We did, yeah. We need more time alone first, you know, to go out, maybe travel, or just to go, even travel to go see family and just do fun things that we won't be able to do with a baby. But then again, <coughs> we are the type of person to like not really go out and do crazy things yeah. that you can't bring your baby along. We both are family oriented and I just feel like we'll enjoy life better with our own baby. That's how I see it. I don't know about you. I mean, I do see it like that, but I still want to have time with her. So. Yeah. That's why, to me, I, it's not that I don't want a baby right now, it's just that I'm not rushing right now. Yeah. And we both decided on that now, like, we just want to enjoy each other, and then whenever it happens, it happens, and then, I mean, we're still going to be happy no matter what. Yeah. So, yeah. How do you guys get through arguments slash tough times, and any advice for couples that are newlyweds? Arguments and tough times, it's pretty hard we we've been having a hard time with that but 
we always fall back on how much we love each other and yeah we always see God that's in it and we're always hopeful I feel like any arguments or tough times it's never gonna be easy or great because arguments are arguments they're not you're not never gonna be in a happy place during arguments you know so yeah. um, an argument it's it's ugly so it's just depending on how you guys react to it or maybe after the argument let like let both of the couple like just to calm down and then talk here's, about yeah, it. There, here's one thing I could tell you guys for advice for newlyweds. If you guys are having tough times, you're having arguments, just stick through it. Remember how much you love each other. Remember why and you guys are that's how you guys get to know each other. You know? In the future that won't happen. So like I was saying <coughs> Before I was rudely interrupted. <laughs> I mean, with, I mean, <laughs> okay, so I was saying for newlyweds, um, one advice I could give you is whenever you're having a tough time or you guys are going through so much, so much arguments, you just got to stick through it and just remember how much you love that person. And that's how you, that's how you learn. Not learn, but that's how you get to know each other. Yeah. So all you have to do is keep learning, keep getting to know each other, and in the future you won't have those problems. Yeah. But also for newlyweds, I feel like the first year being married, I mean, maybe for our, just for our own experience, it's going to be rough just because either way, like if you do know that person, you're still going to get to know them even more. Um, when you marry that person because you're gonna live with them You're gonna see what they do when they wake up to when they go to sleep, you know every detail and You guys will go through some rough times in the beginning, but it's all about you know working through it <laughs> and just you know just fighting for each other that's basically what it is and if one person stops fighting for that person then I mean, I don't know where I could go from there, but what is your favorite memory together? My graduation and family day. Mm, yeah. Uh, oh my God, I love that. Yeah. Was it was just. And my homecoming yeah. for this year or not? Mm -hmm. Last year. Last year. So his basic training, graduation, and then his homecoming um, when he came back from deployment last year in July will be the best. <sighs> Where are some pla places you would like to travel to with your spouse? Philippines. Italy and Paris. Paris, yeah. And then... And also, well, of course, the Philippines, but yeah. Yeah, the Philippines. We are going next year, which I'm excited for. Hawaii. I want to go to Hawaii. Definitely Hawaii. So bad. What's the secret to your marriage to keep it alive? I think it's kind of similar how to the other questions. Who's that? I said I miss you. Oh. <laughs> it's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's the secret to your marriage to keep it alive? To keep it alive? Um, just, you know, flirt and just keep it like... Keep it young. Keep it young. There you go. Yeah. Keep like it if young you... but still mature. Yeah. <laughs> Like if you were still like barely dating them in the beginning, you know, like putting that effort in that you did in the beginning, always keep that going because when it dies, it dies. It dies. Hold on, there's another thing too. To keep it alive, you need to give each other space. Oh yeah. Give each other space because when you're married and you live with that person, you're going to be with them 24-7 and to be honest, you kind of get tired of that, you know, and that's just the truth. It's not because... You know, you don't love that person, it's just, you need your own space. So yeah. for girls, I need my own girl time, you know, and... Yeah. Um, Everyone needs independent time. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. Always, always give them space. I think that's like the key yeah. to keep it alive. <laughs> Who's the most organized? What? I want to hear it. I am. Uh, no, you're not. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I'm not saying that he's like a mess. He does help me clean, clean and book. keep things. No. Look, I don't even know where you got that from. <laughs> <laughs> um, just because I have a little, you know, OCD, so I just need everything to be perfect. 
So, <laughs> so I'll say me. Right? You agree? I agree. Okay. Yeah. Next one. Who's the most funniest? I think even. I think it's even. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's even because we both funny. have like a different sense of humor. Yeah. But it comes together. But we together. both get it. Yeah, we, we get, both we get each other. <laughs> okay, so. That was it for this couple's q and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like always, please subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below what you thought of this video. And if you have any other questions, then just leave them down below because obviously I didn't get a chance to answer those. And I could just comment back to you guys because I always reply to most of you guys. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye! I'm the man and I'm here for you Believe me, cause my love is true